I, I think the debate, um, it can be trivialised. And what it should be about, it's not, it's not about men and women, it's about human beings having successful, loving, fulfilling relationships. And, and society tells us... Can you us, have that without men having as much sex as they want? Well, it's, it's about intelligent choices. So, so society says in ed every other area of life, be it, be it fitness or health or career or finance, it's good to put effort in. But then in sex, we're just going to all, it just happens naturally. And over a 50-year marriage, whatever else, I think that's, quite frankly, immature and, and naive. So, so the analogy I would use is, I've got four young kids, I've got quite a stressful job, I come home uh, at night, and the truth is I don't always feel like reading them a story. Well, but, but I choose to, and they love it, I enjoy it, and I'm pleased with my choice, because I think it's part of the role of being a father. So I don't think women should do anything they don't want to, but if you're sitting down and saying, how am I, you've been married for 34 years, how am I going to have a successful, loving relationship for 34 years, it just involves some intelligent choices. And whatever they are for you, that's great, well, I, I but rather than just think it's all going to happen. I couldn't mm. agree with you more. I think that the debate has to happen, because I, I, I'm sort of agreeing vigorously with all of you, that the debate has to happen in a way that doesn't make either side, and there shouldn't be sides, feel worse. So if the poor bloke, you know, he's desperate for a route and he thinks the way I'm going to get it is leaving... Wait, this is... Oh, sorry. 9.20 in the morning. Don't get me taken off here. Just I'm desperate to make love to my wife. And the way that I ask is, is, is asking to leave her underpants off. We go, well, poor bloke needs to be coached. That's not how you do it. She needs to say something That's to right. him. That's it, right. It's like deciding to be fit or deciding to, to, to look after your finances. If you're in a, in a loving, monogamous, long-term relationship, you can make a decision for it to be a sexual one. And what can happen over time is, is just, for a whole host of reasons, not blaming a, a anyone, you just sort of fall out of that, and then it becomes aw awfully difficult. And just because, a, just because a Boring. bloke doesn't... Can you decide to enjoy it? Which, of course, is the only but, reason well, that well, you would but, want to but, endeavour but it. I think what you can do is you can decide, potentially, in some situations, if you love each other, and it's a monogamous relationship, you can decide to try. If you haven't had sex for two years, and you're, you're drifting to that place where it's just it's roommates, not lovers, you can say, do I want that? Or shall I decide to try and reignite a sexual relationship with nobody feeling like a doormat or a prostitute or anything else? You just go, let's try mm -hmm. and be sexual together. So it shouldn't be about men and women. In a loving relationship between two human beings, sex can enrich your relationship or it can spoil it. Yes. And in a situation where it's spoiling it, you can be thoughtful and loving and generous and kind and try and work it out, but which I think is a great idea. And all, of, all the books that you've written, I think, helps that debate, which is fantastic. Or you can be nasty and finger-pointing and blaming and go, it's because women are low no, libido or men are hairy and useless. Or men can't. You go, it's human beings.